Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando with Mike Tuck. I'm Jerry O'Neill. Three themes. Theme number one on this Friday, August 21st, RG3. Uh, last night, four possessions in the preseason game, racked around like an eight ball uh, on the field of play. Uh, three sacks, a fumble, a concussion. Should he have been out there all that time, Mike? He's lucky to be alive today, but thankfully he has survived and he will live to play another day. Of course he should be out there. He needs the work in Jay Gruden's offense. He didn't play a lot last year because of being benched, being hurt. Needs the work in the preseason. The offensive line obviously needs yeah. the work. And Jay Gruden going to be on a hot seat with this kind of preparation or lack thereof this early in the preseason. But I will remind you, after RG3 went for the protocol for the head injury, Colt McCoy led an 80-yard touchdown drive immediately after it. He led another 8-play, 87-yard touchdown drive. And then uh, Kirk Cousins came in and led a 14-play, 80-yard touchdown drive. So it's not all on, you know, the focus on RG3. They did get some things accomplished last night. Uh, next guy, phase two of this, Johnny Football. I watched the whole preseason game last night to watch him play the entire second half for Cleveland. What would you think? Wow, did you really? Yeah, really. Wow. It was exciting. <laughs> exciting? Did, did you I use stutter? the word preseason to describe an ex- Johnny exciting? Johnny Football played the entire Come second on. half. How much of it did you Come see? Come on. Enough. I well, what's I enough? Believe me, I didn't desire to watch the entirety of a preseason game. Did you? Watch... I can't even watch an entire Dolphins preseason game, and I'm a Dolphins fan. Yeah, but it, like I said, it wasn't just any ordinary to me. It was watching Johnny uh, Manziel play the entire second half. He did some really solid things. And if you watch the entire game, not suggesting that's must-see TV. It isn't. But Josh McCown, as we noted last year, blows. Okay, through two picks. The first should have been the receiver catching the ball. The second was a pop-up. Manziel looked good in the second half. Let a touchdown drive, and then a drive that could have won the game with a game-winning field goal had a fourth down play not been dropped. I thought Johnny was okay. I think, and I have been saying this, because of McCown, Johnny Football will be starting games by the end of September. All he, right. He's just going to be better than McCown. And that the, doesn't mean he's going to be great, but he's going to be better than McCown. Yeah, I think so, too. I think that's accurate about September. I hope it's earlier. I hope he starts the season with him. <laughs> Why? What's so funny I don't think that's that? going to happen. I, I hope My he does. My pen said it's not going to happen. So Unless McCown goes and throws three interceptions next week, third, I don't think it's going to happen. Third f- phase of this, and this is personal. Today is my 33rd wedding anniversary. With my bride, Annie. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Annie, I love you from the bottom of my heart. God bless us uh, in our marriage as we go forward, okay? Love you. All right, Tuck and O'Neill, weekdays 3 to 6, Sports Talk 1080, the team Orlando.